Hello, welcome to the management channel. My name is Jacques Alexis. I'm faculty in the leadership and project management with men in CPS. In this short video, I'm going to explain the concept of expected monetary value. I decided to create this short video because when you Google expected monetary value, many of the sources got it wrong. So, what is expected monetary value? First, you need to know that expected monetary value is a decision-making tool. It associates a monetary value with each possible outcome of a decision. Now, because when you're making decisions, you are selecting among alternative choices, EMV will lead to the selections of the decision alternative with the best expected monetary value. Now, what does this really mean? If you are a decision maker, your job is to maximize positive values. For example, you will maximize revenue and profit, and your job will be to minimize negative values. For example, you will minimize cost and or loss. So, there are certain assumptions behind the applications of EMV. EMV assumes that the decision maker is risk neutral. Risk neutral decision makers are indifferent to uncertainty. What does that really mean? It means they neither risk others nor risk seeking. Decisions are made based on the value of the average outcome. Another assumption behind expected monetary value is that you know the probability associated with each possible outcome. Now, how do you determine EMV of a decision? The expected value of a decision is calculated by multiplying the payoff of each outcome by its probability and summing the products. Now, I highlighted summing, bolded it, and underlined it for a reason. The reason is you do not have EMV until you sum the products. So EMV is not just the product. EMV is the sum of the products. So you can use this technique to calculate costs and time contingencies for identifying this if you're managing risk in a project. So the formula is sum of PISR. P, the probability associated with a possible outcome or payoff, and X, a possible outcome or payoff. Now, I'd like to give you an example here. Now, let's say that you are completing replacing a piece of equipment in your factory. Uh, you have the choice between purchasing a new one or repairing it. Uh, the cost to replace it is going to be 1.2 million, but the cost of repairing it is uncertain. The repair uh, shop or, or the repair firm, they told you, you know, it might, uh, there was a 25% chance it may cost 1.77 million, but a 50% chance it may cost 0 0.6 million, and a 25% chance that it may cost 1.57 million. So EMV, as you can see here, is the weighted average of the possible outcome uh, and multiplying by uh, the probabilities here, you can see, uh, uh, as you can see on my screen here. So EMV is not the product of one possible outcome by its probability. It is the sum of the products. And the weight here is the probability uh, of each possible outcome. So EMV is 1.14 million. Now, as a decision maker, so what you, if you are trying to minimize costs, then you will choose to repair that piece of equipment. Obviously, decision making is not that simple. There are many other factors that you must take into consideration. 
So um, what I'm going to show you next is how this may be applied in project risk management. Now, let's say you identify risk in your project, and after qualitative risk analysis, you decide to quantify some of the risks. You uh, determine the estimated mitigation costs uh, and associated probability. So what you do here, you um, multiply each uh, estimated mitigation cost by its probability to, to have this product PI, and then you sum them up. So EMV here is the sum, 2.8 million. So EMV is the sum of the products. That's what you need to remember. EMV is not one product, but EMV is the sum of the product. Each product represents an individual risk exposure. Now, if you'd like to read more about expected monetary value, quantitative methods for business is a very good read. I would encourage you to take a look at it. It's actually very interesting book to read. Now, that's going to be all for this video. Please subscribe to the channel to receive an alert when the next video is available. Thank you for watching.